You gonna rip it? Get it, get it. Grab it. Grab it. I'm gonna say hi. Just say. Hello. Just say. We're gonna test out five instant coffees and we need them because we can't even get a video intro right because we're definitely not, this is not my gift. So the first coffee we're gonna try is Starbucks via Colombian roast instant coffee. It's kind of like the OG instant coffee. It was the first like real good one. Second one we're gonna try Death Wish Coffee Company. Um, it is their highly caffeinated world's strongest coffee, which I feel like I want in my life right now. Then we're gonna try one of two kinds of Black Rifle Coffee Company's coffee. This is just their, it used to be called Gunpowder. Um, black Powder. Black Powder. But it's just their standard, kind of their take on the Via. And the fourth one we're going to try is from a kind of local company called Woods Coffee in the Pacific Northwest. Woods is kind of a big deal. Um, and there's a super cute, like look at this packaging. Stinking adorable. So theirs is the Adventure Blend Instant Espresso. My favorite packaging for sure. And then, spoiler alert, we've had some of these before because we do camp a lot. Uh, Black Rifle has kind of a tea bag style coffee. So it's probably a different blend as well. Um, probably gonna taste different but that is one there and then we're gonna put all of them up against our very new Aeropress Go so we really like um, obviously we're coffee lovers so we love fresh beans but um, when you're camping sometimes it takes too much time and there's a lot of waste and so the winner of this might just go up against Aeropress we'll see what happens Okay, Starbucks Via. This is so hot. Everybody oh, knows Starbucks perfect. Via is really good though. Like this, this reminds me of my like first camping trips when like, oh yeah. What roast is that? The Colombian roast? The Colombian. Yeah, and even their French roast, I really like. So this to me, it's not super acidic. I could drink this without creamer. I know you like creamer. Okay, so this is the Death Wish Coffee Company uh, coffee. It's the organic coffee that's supposed to be highly caffeinated. It's our brother, my brother-in-law's Matt's favorite coffee, so he gets this. Tastes caffeinated. <coughs> oh, it does. Like, like caffeine tannins, but it's not tannins, but it's like the um, jet fuel, the bitterness of, of caffeine. Yeah. Okay, I can't I can't talk too bad about it because I know like some days I need more ca caffeine, but I'd rather just do two cups of coffee. Death wish. You're intense, bro. I mean, it needs like creamer maybe or a shot of vodka or something. Creamer. Ugh. Bailey's. Oh. Okay, death wish. <laughs> okay, Black Rifle Coffee Company. Black powder? 
black powder. Well, it used well, it to be was. black powder. Now it's just, now their, it's instant. just their instant. Now it's just their instant. Did a little bit of a rebrand. Smells good. Mm -hmm. I'm biased, I think, already, but. Yeah, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. It's not too dark. Mm. It's not too roasty. Um, it's a good flavor. It actually tastes like coffee. <laughs> mm. All right. Yeah, that's so good. We knew good. we liked that one, though. I do think, though, that I have, I have been, I have strayed from Starbucks, because, like. This one is also 100% Colombian. Ooh, yummy. So. So similar, probably, which makes sense why they're not acidic. Because, like, heartburn, you don't want that on a camping trip. But, uh, yeah. This would be, like, comparable to the Starbucks Via. The Via. Which, I honestly really liked that Via. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to think about it. Yeah. But, you're right. I mean, I could drink that all day. All day. Okay. So what I really like about this one is it says it's great for camping, traveling, and everyday adventures. And it has a tree on it. And it's paper, which means you could recycle it, or in my case, you could burn it, which is my one true love. So, it's, you obviously just, it smells good. It looks like tar. Woods, don't let me down! I'll stir this one a little bit more. So this is the Woods Coffee Adventure Blend Instant Espresso. And it's, mm -hmm. it smells like really good and it's lighter for sure. It's like a lighter color. You can't see it because well. Friends of Woods Coffee will like this one because it tastes like Woods Coffee. Really? I'm personally not a fan of Woods Coffee uh, on its own. I think it has a little bit of a sour flavor to it. Lemony. Well, that's what a lot of people call it, is a lemony flavor, but I can't get over the idea that, for me, coffee isn't supposed to taste like lemon, so. But. It's a good medium roast. Like, I think we really like dark coffee, and so if somebody wanted, a, like, a medium roast or a lighter blend, I think you're right, though, that somebody would like, if you liked Woods Coffee. If you like Woods Coffee, you'll like this. Because this is actually really good. It smells probably the best out of all of them. Like, it smells like a coffee shop to me. Which makes sense, it tastes just like Woods. I honestly also just like the packaging a lot, a lot. Good job, Woods. They do everything like that, cute though. I like not having any trash after we're done, it so you can just be kind of burned. Uh, this is good, I was, I had, I had okay hopes for this. It's not my favorite either, though. It's hard to beat, for me it's hard to beat the Black Rifle, although the Via, Via. was really good. I felt like that had a little bit more depth of flavor than the Black Rifle. Uh, okay, so. But they've so, been, they've been, Starbucks has been in the instant coffee game a lot longer than most, so. That's true. This would definitely, yeah, if you like, if you live in the Pacific Northwest and you like medium coffee, like I have some friends who would think that this is the best one, bar none. So we'll have a guest, guest taster someday, and I'm sure they'll, they'll tell us that we're wrong about all of our opinions, but on to the next one. Oh, this smells so good. cup of coffee. Okay, last one. I don't even know where it went. Black Rifle coffee bag. So for this one, we had to wait three minutes, three, and then it has a bag. Mm -hmm. So you had to like squeeze the bag, which I didn't do, but whatever. It's like a tea bag. It's like British, but American. But better, yeah. Coffee is definitely mm -hmm. gonna be good. It smelled the best out of the, out of the packet. Yeah, it doesn't taste as strong. So I wonder if maybe you needed to do the squeeze. Squeeze. 
Okay, so, well, I, pros and cons on this one. One, I mean, if you're in a trailer or camping, like lots of trash, so you have a bag and then you have a, a, the container it came in. And then it takes three minutes, so like, I don't know, I would rather use like an AeroPress or a French press or a pour over just and just like get that. You probably let, at, or sorry, you end up with less um, sediment. Yeah, or like, yeah, uh, like powder in the bottom. Sure, yeah, like maybe it, it is like more authentic coffee. It's beans yeah. in a bag. Just, yeah, ground ground beans in a bag. It's a good thought, Black Rifle. You're really like you're onto something because if people don't want instant coffee, this is like it gives, you know, it's like a much better version of hotel coffee. Mm -hmm. Those little pods. Yeah, it's probably it's a, a lot like the pods. It's a good yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like a good a flavor. Sure, pod. <laughs> But honestly, with the amount of space between this big bag and one of those small little odd things, I would bring 10 of those and two of those and they'd weigh the same backpacking. So I'm still gonna throw my sock in the ring towards the little black rifle one. But now, uh, now I gotta do the air press. Take that off, yep. Why you gotta be the cool kid, AeroPress? So we actually used ours for the first time for this video, which I don't really recommend, but it made a really good cup of coffee. Um, takes a minute or so, and obviously you have to have extra water for your, to add to your, like your espresso shot, but you have to have extra water for your instant coffee anyway, so. To me, there's nothing like Cafe Vita, shout out. You should be able to buy it anywhere, Whole Foods. Red Bar or Safeway, I don't know. Um, they make amazing beans. So I think that's really cool. Have a little jar of beans, keep them fresh, and then be able to grind it and do an AeroPress and you'll have the best coffee ever. Now, requires a lot of space. Yeah, because you're so, looking at, Yeah. let's see, with that off and your AeroPress. So, and your beans. So that's like a lot of space, but if you have a trailer, it might be worth it. Especially if you're feeling fancy. Yeah. AeroPress, definitely. Cool kids. Mm -hmm. But we kind of we kind of knew that. Alright, so <laughs> I'm gonna say my favorites in order would probably I love the Black Rifle Coffee Company, but actually having these two side by side, which is something I've never done. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, the Via Be and this Colombian roast. They have a couple different ones you can use, but Specifically, I think that's my number one. And then, um, no, and thank then, you. Yeah, Sorry. not super. I'm not super into the Death Wish either. Yeah, um, I want to give this another try because you know I'm in love with the whole thing except mm -hmm. for the taste, which is fine. But yeah, I think. I mean, I know I'm not supposed to pick a tie, but I, I do think this is interchangeable because, I mean, we like these these guys these are mm -hmm. awesome people and and they make great coffee and i'd rather support like the small guy yeah but uh dude starbucks way to keep it going like that is really good coffee and neither mm -hmm. of these are like they're both the same age and everything yeah uh this is definitely a no i it think if i were much. to go yeah that it, there, it, it has a process and for me i'll either go instant or i'll just do the whole thing which yes. would be grind your own use a French press or whatever, pour over yeah. to get it exactly how you want it. Yep. Definitely. As opposed to, well, the tea yeah, bag the tea method. Bag method. I'm going to go one, two, three, and this could be interchangeable based on what beans you buy, how you grind it. Eventually you could get it to exactly where you want it and it allowed you all of them. Yeah. I'm going to definitely say that like fresh beans are for sure my number one and then yeah, maybe like interchangeable depending on how yeah. I'm feeling, but, but yeah, the contenders. Yeah. Yum. Thanks Our guys.